The only thing worthy of holding your origin jeans around your waist is an origin belt. And the only thing worthy of putting on your feet with origin jeans is origin boots. It's epically awesome. And as the nutritional division Origin Labs moves out of the factory into its own space, we're going to be expanding half of the factory here to both denim and I believe some leather goods. Getting it done. Getting there. Always. Check it out. So we finally got Mulk in here right now. Ram it. There you go. Oh. One more time. Good. What's happening today, Nick? Oh, we're doing a little move. Origin Labs. A little move? Uh, it's a big move. Big move. How many pallets do you think we got? 30? 30. We got about, how many do we have in the trailer right now? Seven? Six? Yeah. Something like that. How cold is it out there? Oh, it's about, I'm going to say 20, 25. Pretty nice. It's a warm day in Maine. Most of this will be out in the warehouse soon, uh, but right now the guys are out there doing the HVAC stuff, so we'll go out there in a second. We've had uh, a team, specifically Ty Dallas Hines, putting up the uh, <laughs> flow racks here. Basically, the product comes in. Uh, the way we're able to fulfill ourselves, even our Amazon store, and compete with Amazon is because of our processes. Andy has come in and helped us with this uh, Andy Wraith. Basically, we backfill the flow racks. They come to the fulfillment people. There'll be a big table on here with some computers and printers set up, and it allows them to pick and pack at a very quick rate and only have to refill the racks maybe once a day. Um, rather than have to go and fight with boxes and pick boxes and grab boxes off pallets, it's a lot of wasted time and a lot of wasted movement. We're actually able to do this more efficiently than if we paid Amazon to do it. Oh, so over here, 25,000 copies of Mikey and the Dragons, hanging out. Get yourself pulling them out. Those will go to Amazon. So most, most people fully operational would, in, with a project like this would be like spring. Right. Uh, that's not origin fashion, so we'll be in here We'll probably be in here next week. Let's go see what they're doing out here. I haven't even been out here this morning. I've been on a phone call for the last hour. Okay. So we got three of these big things that are gonna be hanging from the corners. I think something like 900,000 BTUs, like almost a million. So it gets cold in the winter here. It was uh, negative eight last week um, without the wind chill. This morning it was cold. It was 19 degrees and the wind was just Mm -hmm. It's growing, it's bitter. Stay tuned um, as we finish moving all the product in after we get the heat, get warm. I'm gonna prototype some leather goods, like belts. And here's the thing, like, I got to thinking about it. We have all this machinery to make stuff, and the only thing worthy of holding your origin jeans around your waist is an origin belt. And the only thing worthy of putting on your feet with origin jeans origin boots so we're uh, pulling this clicker press where did we get this this is like one of the first machines we got right right we stopped to get a um, place that stitched like medical supplies yeah and they gave it to us because it wasn't working right one fifty dollar part and it's like brand new remember, this thing is a hydraulic press and it cuts like leather parts for boots and all sorts of stuff i remember we put it in the bed of your truck and we were driving oh dude the truck was the like truck was just like <laughs> <that. laughs> You can be certain that the majority of people out there who have, who have managed to be successful is because they earned that right. You have to earn that right, and you earn it through trial and adversity and fire <laughs> and exposure and all the things that we're talking about. If somebody's successful, I'm always very, very cautious to discount that success.